Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews with the ID Cooling Frostflow Plus 280mm all-in-one liquid cooler. Now, I actually had a different video planned for today, but this thing completely blew me away. And so I wanted to get this video out there as quickly as possible for you guys. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, but Lawrence, you hate all-in-one liquid coolers. You're Mr. Noctua fanboy. Why are you doing a video on an all-in-one liquid cooler? Basically, this 280 millimeter radiator is 60 pounds, which is about 68 euros, about $75 if you're in the US. And that's cheaper than this D15 or the D14. And it outperforms every liquid cooler that I've tested yet. But let's first start with a physical overview before we dive into the graphs. So being a 280 millimeter radiator, it fits to 140 millimeter fans. The total length of the radiator is 311 millimeters by, of course, 140 wide. And the thickness without vibration dampening pads is 52 millimeters. It's about 55 millimeters with the included rubber vibration damping pads. Now, while you might say, okay, but it's just another Acetec unit with a sticker on it, it actually isn't. So ID Cooling does their own pumps and liquid loops and all that sort of stuff. And that's a really welcome change from basically having a bunch of similar coolers with different stickers on them. So this cooler is compatible with every Intel socket and every AMD socket except for Threadripper. Hopefully we'll see a different bracket for Threadripper in the near future. The tubes are 38 centimeters long and the pump runs at a fixed RPM of 2300, at which point it creates about 25 decibels. The fans are also pretty quiet. They run between 800 and 1600 RPM up to 32.6 decibels. Just like with most all-in-one liquid coolers, installation is actually super simple. It's just a back plate. Onto it you mount the pump and then you mount the radiator and its fans. So while a lot of the competition features RGB lighting, this one doesn't. So you just get the white LED on the pump to show you if it's on or not. Um, there are no other LEDs and that makes cable managing it super easy. It's just a simple three pin connector on the pump and then two PWM connectors on the fan. No USB cables to route or any of that. So that's something I actually really like. Now, if you really need that RGB lighting, just stick some RGB fans on it. It's still going to be cheaper than the competition. But also, ID Cooling does the AuraFlow loop. It's only a 240 millimeter radiator, but it has an RGB water block. And it's still about 75 euros. So that's really good value again there. So while it doesn't come with all the fancy features that other coolers have, I think the looks are actually really good. So it's this simple understated look. So just a wide LED, Lovely sleeved tubes though, and the radiator side of things actually looks really good. It's a full aluminum radiator, and on the side there's this brushed aluminium inlay with the logo on there. Looks lovely and simple and no fancy stuff going on there. Moving on to performance then, I had to retest all my coolers onto AMD Ryzen. So this is a Ryzen 1700 running at 1.35 volts and that's 3.9 gigahertz. And here are the graphs. So let's start off with the noise graphs. It's slightly louder than other competing products, but then, you know, it is only a 60 pound cooler, so I can understand that. And it's not loud at all. Because it performs so well, you can actually run the fans at really low speeds and it just becomes a fully silent thing. Actually, the loudest thing in this computer is my power supply, so I need to swap that out. And despite the low RPM fans, this cooler actually performs incredibly well, way better than any other cooler that I've tested, which is, Amazing, especially at this price point. So even at full speed or half speed, it performs super well. Now, anything under one degree Celsius, I can think of as just other variables like humidity. It does show that it's on par with something like a Be Quiet Silent Loop 280, which is about three times the price of this one. So overall, performance and value for money with the ID Cooling Frostflow Plus 280 is just amazing. To move on to our conclusion then, if you need really fancy looks and RGB everything, maybe it's not for you. But for everyone else, this is finally the first or actually the second all-in-one liquid cooler that I can really recommend. And I can recommend this to anyone. It's the same price as a Corsair H50, but it performs way better. It actually outperforms the D15, which is my golden standard. And it looks good, easy to mount. What else can you want from a all-in-one liquid cooler that's only 60 pounds or 75 dollars? 
Anyway guys, if you like this video, press that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button or the subscribe button in case I make a video that you do like. Now, if you want more frequent updates, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, all linked in the description below. And if you want to really support the channel, I have a Patreon link for that. Now though, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.